hello everyone and welcome back to my channel yesterday I filmed a requested twist out tutorial and here I was actually getting ready to go out and eat with my boyfriend so I'm basically getting ready during this video um, but I'm just fluffing my hair out so it can be big you know you got to go big or go home with this afro honey but if you would like to see how I got this look then keep on watching So, of course, I'm starting with freshly washed hair with my t-shirt. And then I'm just running my fingers through my hair, kind of stretching it out. Excuse me for looking a mess right here. I know I look crazy. Um, the things you will need are a comb and a brush. I use my Demon brush and a wide tooth comb. Clippies, four of them. Bobby pins coconut oil for your scalp or whatever oil of your choice leave-in conditioner I choose the Cantu Shea Butter and a cream which I use the Shea Moisture Curling Enhancing Smoothie and water Next, I'm taking my hair and spritzing it with some water because it's getting kind of dry. And then I am detangling it with my Demon brush. Then I am taking one section that I want um, my first twist to be. And I'm going to put the other part away. So once I have my desired size for my twist, I'll take the oil and massage it in my scalp as always and then bring it down the whole length of my hair to the ends. Then I'm taking the leave-in conditioner and applying that to my hair and I use my hands to make sure that the product is distributed evenly. And lastly, I'll take the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and put that on top and rub it all the way down. And then you just split the section into two and twist all the way to the bottom. And once I get to the bottom, I kind of twirl it around my finger. Ignore me talking in the video. Next, I'll do the same thing. I split that section into two, massage the oil on my scalp, and bring it all the way down to the end. And I'm just going to repeat the same steps that I did with the first twist. I think I was talking to my grandma on this part. Hey girl. Here I was trying to decide if I wanted a middle part or well, I thought I was going with the middle part but I ended up changing it to a side part. So you would do that before you do the twist so that once you undo them they will lay how you want them to lay.
And here I had to speed up the video because it was way too long. Um, so I'm just completing the rest of my hair following the same steps that I did on the first few twists. And actually, I like to flat twist the twists that are close to my part so it would lay a little bit more flat and it looks like the curls are growing from my scalp. So if you would like to see a video on how I flat twist, then let me know in the comments below or on my social media. And on the takedown part of the video, you'll see the flat twist that I went back and made with this part of my hair. Now I'm just finishing up the last section of my hair. And I think I did three on each side in the back. And I followed the same steps as the regular twist in the front. And being that my hair shrinks a lot when it's wet, as you can tell, I'm taking my bottom pieces on the sides and stretching them across and pinning them with the bobby pins so that they will be stretched out once they dry and it won't be such a short afro. Here I'm just taking out the bobby pins. Now I'm taking a few drops of coconut oil and rubbing it in my hands to help me take down my twists so they won't be frizzy or I thought because my hair was still wet and you can see me feeling it there. Here I'm just separating the two strands all over and then I'll go back and separate each individual piece. So actually I went and tried to blow dry my hair a little bit because it was really wet when I untwisted my twists. As you can see, those are kind of frizzy already. But I added a little more oil to my hands and began to separate the twists. And I like to pull all the way to the ends holding both strands so that they won't separate and be frizzy. Here I'm not doing anything really special, just continuing to separate all the pieces all over until I get it to how I want it to look. Some people stop and leave them chunky. I don't like too much definition, but I like some definition, so I just separate until my heart is content. So you just fluff your hair until you get it to your liking. I hope this video helped someone and I hope you enjoyed it. Again, thanks for watching.